hello everybody welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today we will be going over julie's picks this is for december and i will be giving my first impressions on the sewn fashion and diy magazine um and so first let's start with julie's picks now this is the december collection these are probably all out on the website the, this came a little late in the mail normally these come around the beginning towards the middle of the previous month so normally before the 15th of November I would have received this but I didn't get it until it didn't come in the mail until right before we left for Thanksgiving and so I'm just opening it and so on the front cover here is talking about what is in here it's, it has some suiting some holiday themed fabrics and um, other assortment of fabrics with color as you can see so let's jump right into it so and this will probably be quick review because I don't have you know three months worth to show you but so this is our first month of suiting and so that first the first is a plaid wool the second one is a tweed so let's look at this plaid not particularly my taste but it does feel nice I do like this this will be a nice jacket this is the tweed um, suiting and then we have some herringbone now this is gorgeous this is gorgeous <clears throat> and I have the light on in my camera but yeah this is gorgeous it's pretty much coming off true to color a pink kind of a pink black like it says here and then have, we have this tweed uh, suiting which is also very nice another good jacket and then this solid fine twill suiting which is a midnight navy and yeah you can see that coming across so that is really nice and the fabric that they I'm sorry the pattern um, that they have chosen is the Arc Dorothy woven jacket by Style Art um, which I haven't heard of that one but it's a cute jacket it looks like look like it's just a single button all right next is this is the holiday theme fabrics so on top they're um, telling you they have the fat the pattern suggestion which is the quick sew 4132 um, looks like a full dress it's in black and white so it's a little bit hard to see but if you're interested you can definitely Google quick sew 4132 so let's get into the fabric so this is a stylized sheer knit let's see oh that is sheer that's pretty though it doesn't have any stretch yes it does this way there's some stretch this way not so much very little but that is pretty um, the next is a hazy design metallic brocade and I do like brocade oh goodness can't you see a really gorgeous dress or some really nice palazzos in this isn't that gorgeous Ooh. That is gorgeous. And then we have a ruffle knit. That's definitely a sweater <laughs> of some sort. Sweater dress even. Wow, a sweater dress. That is pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. And it's more of a wine. I'm looking past my camera here. And it's more of a wine in person than the red. And it is gorgeous. Um, then we have a horizontal stripe Chanel cotton woven. Oh, that's okay. That is all right, not bad. And then we have, last but not least, a damask brocade. And that is gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. So turning the page. The next pattern that they represent for these knits is the closet case ebony t-shirt and knit dress. So these must be more, um, since it's the ITY, a little bit more um, flowy, a little bit more drapey. So we have a retro floor, floral print shantung. So let's see. I have to look past my camera. Oh, this is not a knit. Oh, they... Oh, they have a couple knits on here. Okay, this is not a knit. But I tell you what, this is absolutely gorgeous. 
that is gorgeous look at that that is so pretty geometric print ity knit is next now yeah i could definitely see this being in that pattern that they suggest two-way stretch yep very nice this is a solid ponty knit ocean blue that's very pretty makes you start thinking about your spring spring um outfits that is pretty that is really pretty i like that then you have this solid tricotine suiting i am pronouncing that wrong excuse me but i do like it that is nice it don't have no stretch but it's that's nice um then they have this jacquard suiting which is beautiful pear green and white 100 percent polyester very nice very nice and then now over here oops sorry sorry everybody <laughs> um over here we have a grunge this says the grunge lines print um by hachi sweater knit um this is a butterix pattern they're showing 6492 if you can see that so this is okay the knit um, which i pronounced all wrong i got i'm on my cutting table so i got threads everywhere but that is nice it's not extra heavy but it's definitely nice you could for texas this will be great i think any other winter state because then you can just layer on top of this but i like it then they have this um abstract single border print ity which is nice i have something very similar to this very similar to this i bought in um arizona i sure did um and then you have an abstract jacquard ottoman suiting which is nice i don't i'm not into white fabric or light solid colors like this so i wouldn't buy this but it is very nice it's very pretty has a nice handle to it um then they have this abstract pebble print which is so cute pebble print kind of remind me of flintstones <laughs> pebble pebble print but anyway that is really nice and then last but not least is a solid fleece so this is a solid fleece that's thick so that'll be nice obviously for a house coat you may be even depending on where you are pajamas i wouldn't make fleece pajamas here because it don't get no cold for me to wear that okay rounding it out on this page is some floral print sateen the first one is a sketch floral print which is very nice I do like that I'm liking the selections this month and then they have this solid ITY knit which is very reminiscent to the color in that Ponty knit we just saw very nice then they have this abstract jacquard suiting I like that print that design on there that's really nice that is really nice and then you have they say an animal print oh now that's pretty that is pretty animal print um 97 cotton three percent lycra not bad and then they have an animal no i'm sorry this is the animal print jacquard sorry the other one is the sateen but isn't that pretty i'm really liking it love 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 now rounding out this page their pattern selection this pattern is mccall's 7253 very pretty i like that i'm gonna have to look at that I like that skirt okay and then the final page they're saying try Vogue 9277 um, with either the floral design brocade uh, to make a beautiful jacket. So this first one is the animal print brushed knit. Oh now, 
hello holidays you can really have some fun with this Ooh, and it's so soft it has nice stretch to it too yeah it has some nice stretch then you have a heather ponty knit this almost looks like a chambray but it's not but it's very nice i like it then you have a floral design brocade lots of brocade obviously for the holiday i'm sure that is gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And then you have a floral, um, another floral design. Oh, two of them. Two different color waves. So you got this one, and then you have this one. And you know what? I love both. I could see um, cashmere upton dresses in this, for sure. And then you have a dark denim wash. So very nice roundup. I am absolutely, I'm going to go back to a couple of these um, after I'm done. Because there's a couple I, I liked, I really liked. And I'm thinking I might want to do something with. So that is it. Um, this is the last one for 2017. And yes, I will be getting the subscription for 2018. Um, again, I like seeing the different fabric types. Um, filling the fabric and just getting an idea of what to use them for so yeah hope you enjoyed that stay tuned i am going to now switch over and let me give you my first impressions of sewn magazine okay i am now going to give you a review my first impressions of the sewn magazine um i am wearing my sew over pussy bow blouse and my oops okay there's something standing here I ran into. Oh, you can't see it. But I'm wearing, let's see, I can pick up my camera. I have on my Holly Burn skirt. Yep. Got on my Holly Burn skirt. So that is what I am wearing. So I thought I would show you what I'm wearing first. So let's get into it. Um, if you all follow that black chick, Michelle, um, Michelle Morris, you know that she was um, putting together uh, her um, fundraising for her magazine and so it was all over social media and everything like that and if you follow her account you know she oh my gosh she's so creative I, I, there are so there are a lot of Instagram accounts I absolutely love and adore and hers is one of them where the fit um, the creativity the hacking of patterns, doing little twists and turns on things. So when she said she was coming out with her own magazine, and this is her daughter um, that models her clothes. So this is not her, but that's her daughter. Actually, Michelle's picture is in the front. That's Michelle. Um, I believe, yeah, that is her daughter. Um, it's my can correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say that is her daughter that does all of her um, modeling of everything that she wears. And so when she said she was doing this magazine, I was like, yep, I'm getting it. So I pre-ordered it. It came in the mail and I could not wait to get into it. Let me just tell you, the quality of the magazine is, the pages are thick. The, um, I mean, I'm no graphic designer guru or anything like that, but I know the paperweight of these pages is top quality, top quality indeed. And then she even signs them for you. Um, but let me just say, I absolutely loved all her features. Love all, the, all of her features in here. Um, I do follow, I end up following a few other accounts because a couple of these accounts I wasn't even following on Instagram, but I would say majority of them like Tabitha Sewer, um, Pink Chocolate Break, Sewing Fanatic, Vintage on Tap. I was already following them, but I wasn't following Riva La Diva, Brooklyn, Built Her, um, Needle and Ted. I was not following them. And so let me just tell you, this is the type of stuff Michelle does creates that I'm always like who puts together these different prints and textures and pulls it off just looks phenomenal just love it so let me just jump right into this again is my first impression um, I 
What I re really enjoyed were the stories. I really love hearing the background of some of these other um, contributors to um, the magazine, the interviews that she did. I love hearing, you know, the inspiration behind why people sew, why they began creating. Um, this was one, let me flip to, and the pat, the book comes with a free pattern. And of course you have to get the magazine to get the pattern, but it's an absolutely gorgeous dress. I think she showed it on social media. So if you saw it on social media, you know what the dress is. And it is this, let me see if I can get to the page. It's the Monique dress. Look at the shoes. See, this is the type of stuff I love. Look at those cuffs. Michelle, Michelle, you are doing it. Definitely an inspiration. But um, I, I should have tabbed the page. But, um, oh, I loved hearing, I think this is Reba LaDiva. Is this Reba? Nope, this is not Reba LaDiva. What's her name? I end up, oh, Wonder Stitch. I end up started following her as well. I enjoyed reading her story. Very, very good story. Um, and the, I tell you, the the pictures in here, the inspiration that jumps off the pages, it just caused me to really think outside the box even further. Now, I'll be coming with a video for my 2018 goals, but what I will say is some of the things that I was thinking and like, oh, you know, how would that work? Could I do that? Or can I, you know, knowing you can sew whatever you like. You can wear whatever you like. Um, but some ideas I had in my head, I'm thinking, oh, how would you do that? And how would that mesh and all of that? And when I tell you this inspired me, like, yes, do it. Go for it. Um, let me just show you a sneak peek. The book also comes with a lot of tutorials, a lot of awesome DIYs, like, Look at this. Some jeans. She has a section here about what is it called? I won't show you everything because you got to get the book. But um, <laughs> get the magazine. Jean Bling is the section. And she talks about giving an old pair of jeans some pick me up. And she has several pages on different styles, which I'm going to try when I make some jeans, which is my goal in 2018. But look at this. Look what she did with these jeans added these zippers like that just oh, just I, and then there's um, some statement pieces in here um, a denim statement piece that's in here and then of course if you follow this beautiful lady my daily threads if you follow her um, she has a free DIY in here on how to do the belt that she has on with that with this outfit. And then there's some holiday stuff in here, Christmas DIYs in here, so much. It, and then another one is um, how to do a, um, another one is for someone else did a contribution for a mermaid skirt. Um, when I tell you, and then one lady does quilts in here and her quilt designs, phenomenal. Phen phenomenal just a quick sneak peek look at that quilt Th this was just above and beyond I didn't have quite honestly I didn't have any expectations because when I get magazines or I'm thinking about getting magazines like this I always buy the first two to three subscriptions singly before I commit to an annual subscription um, just because I want to see if there's consistency and so this is the first one I am going to order the second one um, like I said that's just how I do it um, I like to make sure that there's consistency um, in the product and what is being delivered this is the, the November December issue so the um, issue comes out six times a year and so um, this is the November December issue and I am beyond impressed beyond impressed and i will be purchasing the next issue um probably next couple issues may not take the next couple issues before i just get the um annual subscription but this and she even having here something on 
uh, cookies, decorating cookies, and some, and need some fancy looking cookies too. <laughs> but so nice. So I'm, I love it. There's nothing negative to say. Any downsides, any cons. Um, for me, I just need to see a couple more issues before I commit to a, a full year subscription. And um, this issue, what was pre-order? So I want to say, you know, I don't even remember the price. If I remember what I paid, I'll put it, when I edit this video, I'll put, up, put it on the screen. But <clears throat> so worth it. So many great ideas. If you're looking for inspiration, some meat on the bone. And I just love this. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, uh, I just get, get a lot of inspiration to, to see somebody you follow on Instagram that you inspire their work. You're inspired by their work and what they do and for them to produce what you see on social media for it to come to life and you have it in your hand and you can carry it around with you. Priceless. I love it. I love it. So congrats to Michelle Morris. I am definitely going to get another subscription or two. Like I said, that's just how I do it. Um, a couple more uh, orders and before I commit to a, a annual subscription. But yeah, love, love, love. And I'll come back in when I get the next subscription or the next um, um, order that comes out. I'll come back in with another review and let you know what I'm thinking what the content the content everything was absolutely phenomenal everything she brought to the table was awesome so hats off to Michelle Morris um, sewn magazine make sure you follow them on Instagram follow them on Instagram if you haven't ordered it yet follow um, sewn magazine on Instagram but follow also that black chick on Instagram and yes inspiration city so that is all i have for you today everybody if you have any questions if you got the magazine please let me know what you thought in the in the um comments below but yeah grab your magazine get your your subscription to this <laughs> to julie's picks as well and yeah all right everybody i will see you in the next video and again if there's any questions or comments please leave them down below but thanks everybody have a great day